Welcome back, 47 gang, gang, gang. <laughs> Welcome back, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. It is a Monday. What is today? Is it March 13th? All right. So today we are going to do a little makeup review on this house lab sample that I got. So if I'm not mistaken, the House Lab brand is, is it Lady Gaga's makeup brand? If I'm not mistaken. So I had got a sample of it. Um, Y'all know how I do, I go on a sample splurge. So I see if I like something, wear it out. And then sometimes I'll even wear it twice if it's enough in a sample just to make sure I really, I'm really i really feeling it like that. So y'all know that's what I do. So I had got the sample when I was in Sephora a while back getting some other things. And um, the girl that um, did my swatching and everything, she got me at shade 450 medium deep warm. So I was just putting on my e.l.f. primer. So I'm gonna let this primer settle for a second and then we'll go from there. So yeah, that's the, she shade matched me for that shade. And we gonna see. It looks, from the looks of it in the container, it looks like a shade that I would have picked. So we gonna see, I just put my Angel Veil Primer on my hand by NYX which I haven't used in a very long time. I probably should let this primer settle a little bit more because they're both kind of on the more liquidy side. I've had this primer and it wasn't liquidy like this. So I don't know the NYX one, but I'm gonna just rub it in a little bit and let it sit. And then, um, yeah, y'all know I like to get straight to the point. When I come back, we'll, we'll start the foundation application. All right, so here's the sample here. And I'm just gonna, I guess I'm just gonna dot it. I hope this turns out right because I got some things to do today. <laughs> and if this don't turn out right, I'm gonna be taking my makeup off so that's a horrible situation and doing my face over again and I don't want to really do that so it looks a little brighter y'all know my foundations pull more red that's what I'm used to this one is like a little bit more brighter now that I'm seeing it but we just gonna take this Juvia's brush because it was the clean one that I had sitting over here and we just gonna buff it in and we're gonna see how this go. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. It look kinda light. Unless it's one of those ones that oxidize and I, I don't even know what the claim to this foundation is, so I'm gonna have to look it up. Cause yeah, this is just unprepared. <laughs> I didn't look up the info. So, so far, it just looks a little bit, it don't look like it's too bright. I probably put too much of it on. It's more of a liquidy foundation too, I can tell you that. It's not runny, that kind of liquidy, but it's a liquid. It's kind of, and it's giving like, to me it seems like it's gonna give a semi-matte finish and not a matte finish, so yeah. I'm gonna just finish patting this in. It looks like it's gonna be semi-matte, not matte. I can tell by the the sheen. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's a matte foundation. Uh, so I'm just gonna take that, can all that off my lips. Now we are gonna go in with our concealers. And lately, I have been using two. I have been using this Makeup Revolution 
IRL filter finish concealer and then my full coverage uh photo touch no pro touch by um ruby kisses you get this from the drugstore and then this one came from ulta i'm using shade c13.5 in this one and i'm just gonna take it and my mirror is right here so if i'm not looking directly at y'all that's why i'm looking at the mirror but um yeah so although i could look at the I'm always looking at the mirror, it's a habit. So I'm just gonna take that one and I'm just gonna go down the nose. And then this one has this nice doe foot type applicator, I love it. Like, I have not been very, very crazy about a lot of Make A Revolution stuff, but they nailed it with this, I love it. Now I'm gonna go over it with the Ruby Kiss Concealer in the shade warm coconut and I'm just going to blend them together and they'll look like that um lately what I've been doing with my concealer which is a trick that I've noticed everybody is doing now they're using this real techniques um with brushes setting brush and you just they buff out the concealer up under your eyes i've seen a lot of people do it on tiktok and instagram makeup artists on instagram so when i seen it i said oh i'm gonna try that and i actually like it better than buffing it out with the beauty blender it's just something that I don't know, it, it works differently. You all know how time and time again, we change how we do our makeup and then it's the trends and all those things. So yeah, so I buffed it out. I'll still take a beauty blender and just go up under and push. But I, yeah, I do all the buffing out with that. So if you don't got that Real Techniques brush, get it. I'm pretty sure they have it at Target. All right. So now I'm going to go in with my HD Pro. This is Banana Setting Powder by Italian Deluxe. This is just, it's super duper inexpensive. Probably like five bucks. And I'm going to take my handy dandy triangle puff which is also a cold babe and i'm just gonna press my powder in like the makeup world changes from <laughs> day to day month to month year to year so yeah so i put that there then i'm just gonna take this real techniques brush because i don't like to let mine sit for too long and I just um, buff it out. I don't really like the sitting process. So now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. concealer. As y'all know, I always do. And I'm just going to bring my contour in. And I always just dot the nose. It might not even be straight, but I'll fix it. I'll try to get it straight most of the time. And I'll be right back after I buff this so out. This is the process thus far. I contoured. I'm going to put my powder on. I did not contour my nose, though. <laughs> I did, but I didn't. So... I'm gonna take my palette. I didn't powder contour my nose. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Not no different, y'all didn't see me do this before. But this is another Real Techniques brush that I use for contouring and I love this brush. Real Techniques is life, life. 
All right. So I'm going to take my Revlon, Revlon, L'Oreal powder, and I'm going to powder my face. hair in my eye Ugh. and then I'm gonna powder finish up and then I'll see, let you guys see the final result of this and we'll have a little bit of conversation and then I'm gonna do a wear test all right y'all I am back and this is the final result of the foundation so far I like it I think that um it's really pretty and it ended up matching. So she did, she said matched me pretty well. Let me put my little baby hair behind there. So yeah, this is it. Um, It doesn't feel heavy at all. It's super duper light. You can't even really feel that it's on your skin. Um, Did it end up being matte? Yeah, it did end up being matte. I don't know if it was just because of the powders and the things that I used, but at first it looked like it was gonna be like a semi-matte finish, but it's matte. So, yeah, so far I don't have any complaints about it. Um, I'm gonna have to look up the claims because I didn't look up the claims before the video. Um, Y'all know how I do with that sometimes. But um, yeah, so far, so good. It seems like it's, it's it's pretty good. I'm I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. So yeah, I'll do a wear test and probably it'll probably be like five hours from now or so, and I'll come back to you guys and let you know how I feel about it then. But this is House Labs Foundation in medium deep for fifty. All right, y'all, so it is 10.06. Before I blot, I'm gonna let y'all see my face. I'm oily in like the normal places that I would get oily. My T-zone, but it's not super duper bad at all. Um, I'm always sitting here because I'm but, um, so it's not super duper bad. I got oily in the spots that I would usually get oil in. So I'm not going to complain. Um, yeah, I like it. Would I buy this foundation? Um, yeah, I'm thinking about getting it. I like it. I think she did a very good job with the foundation itself. It has a pretty good longevity. I put this on about... Sorry if y'all hear the noise. I put this on about, what, was it 11 o'clock this morning? Somewhere in there. And it is now about 10, 15, or a little bit, a little bit, a couple minutes before. So, yeah. I don't have no complaints. I think it's pretty good. Um, yeah. I like it. So, thumbs up for what is it lab house <laughs> house lab lab house house lab i think that's it but it'll be in the the, uh, the main description y'all i'm tired i'm gonna finish doing some invoices then i'm gonna take me a shower wash this makeup off my face and go to bed but as always y'all i hope y'all enjoyed the video always remember Stay blessed, stay positive, stay motivated, and I'll see you on the next one.